all right it compiled uh, i'm just going to check the output log to see what what does it say yep what does it say start tile from world check level persistent level do i have a start tile on the scene no i don't okay so i'm not sure why okay it was quite a bug so if i'm hitting play okay it's spawned like this i'm going to increase the number of tiles just so we can see how it went okay my name my, my nav mesh is not big enough i'm going to increase it by like i'm going to duplicate that value like a lot okay so it's building a dungeon and I think it's working since we have no tiles overlapping with each other. As we can see, we already need a maximum amount of corridors in a row. Okay, we have 10 tiles. I need only four actually to properly work. I'm just going to make sure it, it didn't break, break once again. Okay, it's working fine. So the first time we're seek we are looking for is south, the rest is random. And now we need to take care of this empty connection there. Uh, this is supposed to store into to, to store in our tile layouts map uh, what tiles are connected to which one. So how are we going to do that we're going to need one thing which is to connect tiles so this is to ask this is going to ask for two two ve vector 2ds and this is going to be uh, i mean in tile 1 in tile to other tile and this is going to say and we're going to, we're also going to ask to give the information from direction from cardinal I'm not even sure I'm not even sure cardinal points okay okay we're good I'm not being ridiculous so uh, this is going to say this this tile is connected to this one so we're also going to need something that says set connection in tile in connection uh what is it what is it already uh is tile used uh i mean we created them what is it what is this an array of yep that that's what we want when we set the connection we want uh cardinal points we want this to be a map of uh, booleans and this is going to simply set the connections of that tile we're going to get rid of that parameter actually because we don't want to make that all the time we want what do we want we want four booleans we want four booleans saying 
is north connected is south connected east and west you you start you're starting to get the end of it and what are we going to do here uh, plain simple can we do that no we can't can we we are forced to promote that to a variable uh, temp map we're going to call that uh, temp direction my bad and we are going to add the north and the south, etc. etc. And like that, like this, I mean. And we also need to know which type of tile is there because we are over we are by doing this we are actually overriding the type of our tile so we need to get to find the type of the tile we are overriding and we want to return him to return it like this and we don't forget to set up that like this We're setting the direction this tile has, so that's starting to get neat. When we're connecting tiles, we're saying, oh, but we have a problem. Let's say, let's say, we can't, we can't, we cannot override connection like this. Let's say I al I already have I have this I have this tile connected to this one and then I plug this new tile to our previous tile so when I will launch our function to connect these two tile I'm going to tell him to connect I'm going to tell him to connect our preview style to our, to our new one and we're going to override let's say I'm going from the south I'm going to um, either I need to know which which connection are already active either I or I just need to set south south instead of all of them at once and I think I think that's what I want to do so we're going to do it like that. Set connection. So we want to set the connection of one of the cardinal points. Uh, two cardinal points. Set connection enabled. So how are we going to not override this? It's quite simple. We're going to get our tile at first. We're going to set temp, temp direction to the direction of our tiles, to the current direction of our tiles. And we are also going to throw an error if we if we are trying to get a tile that we do not have just for the sake of debugging and we're going to make it red because that's an error that was an error so for the Earthstone known players so we we need to set the connection if enabled of this style so we are getting the already the current direction it has we are storing it and then we are setting the connection enable to these cardinal points yep that's that sounds neat and then we need to store that into our tile layout 
big information board. This is already looking neat. And what does connect tile do? It's saying that tile one and tile two are both connected to each other. And we are going to select both of them. If I'm coming from if I'm coming from the north, it means your south. No, I mean if you're coming from the north, that means so this is the first style. So if I'm coming from the north, the previous style is open on the south. If I'm coming from the south, the previous style is open from the north, east to west, and west to east. But on the current tile, if I'm coming from the north, that means the direction I'm coming from is open. So this is connected, connecting both style with each other. It's already looking quite neat. Um, then what do, what are we doing when we're spawning, generating the tile layout? We need to connect both tiles after adding them here. So we're just going to connect these the tiles here. So what tiles are we connecting with each other? The preview style and the found location. And where are they connecting with each other? We are going to say the, the random next location is going to give us Mm, we would like to retrieve the randomly chosen location from this or or I mean no we could we could just we could just get we could just get the origin tile we could just make a utility a utility function that does that for us get origin tile from vector 2d from tile to direction and this is going to give us a 2d vector uh, I mean That's not what I want to do with that. This is not what I want to do. Uh, I mean, it is what I want to do, but it, it is not what I need right now. I just need that to return the cardinal it gave us. So I'm just going to say that I'm going to remove the location to seek from the pool of location and I'm going to return the keys in here instead of storing them temporarily so I'm just going to remove the keys that are used And then I'm going to get these keys, the remaining, the remaining keys. I'm going to get a, rand, a random out of it. I'm going to get to find 
the results and I'm going to return that randomized results I'm just pro promoting that to a temporary variable in case it runs this twice and give me a different result if I plug this tw twice in a row so I'm finding that and I'm returning the randomized results so when I'm trying to find a destination a random next location is giving me the location and it's also telling me from where it found it so I'm going to promote that as well so if I'm doing that I'm coming from that cardinal it's going to say hey this let's one let's Let's imagine we're going, we're coming from the start tile. So we know we are coming from the south. If we are coming from the south, we're telling to the start tile it is connected to, to the north. So that's not it. I mean, the start tile is connected to that. And so that means the start tile is connected, is opened on the south is open on the south that's right that's right and that means the next tile is open on the north yep that's that's right so i uh i inversed the position the result of that in that okay okay now we need to say that when we spawn tiles we only spawn We only spawn tiles matching our directions. So when we are asking for a tile class, we we will also ask for directions. So direction is equal to a cardinal points map of booleans. And we are going to plug that and this and that and this little structure here is going to do all the work for us right now right now we are only spawning start tile but we want to say that we only spawn start tile if Actually, we're going to switch on this, even if, sw if switch, uh, switch has pretty bad performance. And we want best performance for our dungeon generator. Because the compilation build is going to be quite... The nav mesh navigation is going to be quite long already. We don't need to add more loading time to that. So if we're building, if we're asking for a start tile, we're just returning the start tile. Uh, if if not, we're going to check if we're asking for a generic tile. And for now, we're just going to build these two types of tiles. And when we generate the tile loadout, we have to make sure here we are specifying generic tile. Yes, we're yes we are already doing that so when we are getting the tiles class what do we want to do now we want to find a proper tile corresponding to our directions so we're going to need to have an array of tiles so we are going to have a tile list And this is going to be an array of tiles. And to that, we are going to add all the tiles we created previ previously, like this. And 
we have to make sure we actually have to make sure the directions we actually have to make sure we are feeding all the directions to our tiles even if they are closed because we are going to match the directions we are setting in our level generator to the to the directions we set in our three ways here and we s we have an entry uh, i'm not even sure we can compare we can compare oh yes we do i want to compare that to the direction of our tile so we need to make sure when we connect when we create a new tile the empty the empty connect connections oh actually empty connections should be all unchecked if we don't want errors so when we are generating a new tiles we are creating all connections here so we will be able to match to compare them with each other so when we when we are getting the get the tile class we want to loop through our list of tiles we want to get their class defaults and we only want the connections we want to ask are, are these connections equal to the directions we have if we if it is we had that to our pool we don't want that we want an array we don't want a, we want a local variable we want the local variable to be an array and this is our randomized list our possible our valid tiles each time we find a tile matching the, G, the direction we need we we are adding that we are oh i'm I can't do that. Why can't I? Map of e cardinal points to enums to boolean. Map of e cardinal points enum to booleans. Does not have a valid pro pro property set. What do they mean? And if I'm doing this okay i i cannot do that why can't i if they created that hmm how strange if not we'll need to convert that direction to our to our these cardinal to our direction in them so I guess that's what we need to do mm -hmm. maybe I need to make that local variable No, still not. All right, then we're going to say A hey, instead of our connection, we want our direction. But we cannot compare that. Okay, okay. Uh, can, can we compare arrays of enum? Can we compare <coughs> an array of cardinal points, for instance? Oh, no, we, we cannot. We cannot. <coughs> That's unfortunate. OK. Well, that's quite simple, actually. 
we're just going to say hey we want the connection we want to get the keys we want to loop through them and then uh, we want to find the key we want to ask is the key true if it is true Uh, I mean, no, that's not what we want to do. We want to check all the keys. We want to find both. Okay, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to loop through all the keys all the direction, all the cardinal points, and we want to ask is the cardinal point of the of the tile is matching the cardinal points of the directions we want are they both equals Are they not equal? If not equal, we're excluding them. We are ex excluding the tile from the list of tiles. So we want to for loop with break. We want this and that and this and that. We always want a lot of things. At least I do. So if the tiles are different. We are not, we are breaking through that. Mm. B temp valid tile new local variable. This is going to be a boolean. We want to say the each time we roll, we are rolling through a new tile this boolean is true and if we find one cardinal point that doesn't match the direction we want that tile won't be valid and then after looping through the keys if it's still a valid tile we are adding it to our list of tiles, of randomized tile we can pick. So that's it. Oh, we don't forget to connect this and that. And we are returning. We are then returning a random tile among the tiles we found. easy peasy so when we are asking for a generic tile uh, and if we are not asking for a generic tile or a star tile that means we made a mistake for now but we are returning a star tile anyway in case it, to, to avoid mistakes uh, compilation errors so when we are asking for a generic tile, we are looping through the array of all the tiles we have. And then we say, this tile is valid. Uh, but what is, what are its direction? We are looping through all these direction. We're finding if it's open or not. And if the direction we want is of the same type, open. If they are not of the same type, this tile cannot be picked. So we are leaving out, we are leaving the loop and we are saying it's false. So we are not adding the tile to the list. If everything is in place, if they are matching. So if I'm hitting play, 
we can see uh, it's we have a problem uh, regarding uh, we have several problems actually why do we I think that comes from what I modified from the tile layout and the location of the tiles sounds weird uh, maybe the connections uh, what do I want to do? I added them here. Mm -hmm. Coming from Cardinal. Setup. I'm connecting the first tile to this one. Previous location is 0, zero by default. So I'm saying this and that is connected. So I'm storing that. I'm setting the connection enable. I'm storing that. Mm -hmm. What is what isn't working? I, I mean, maybe just pwned every uh, hair, every tiles in here. On the same place maybe that's the problem I'm going to check real quick by just adding back a debug yeah there is something wrong it's connecting tiles wrongly once again Is that because of a temporary value once again? I believe so. Uh, I, be, I mean, I believe it might be. The valid tile, the tile list, the tile list is great. Ah, I know, I mean, <laughs> I know what's wrong. Uh, I mean, here I'm read, I'm I'm looping through the tile list. I should be looping through the valid list. Uh, what do they mean by using an invalid target? I'm I pressed F F5. It's refreshing all nodes. I believe you could do refresh nodes. It would work. Uh, actually, that's. That's not bad. It's starting to show something, but it's still not. We are need, we are still not quite there because it's not spawning them correctly regarding the location. So I think I did something wrong while changing that. When I'm going south, I'm going to the X. When I'm going... Okay, okay, my bad. I just... Not put it the way it should. Uh, but it's not working still quite well. Wait, why is it not working? Maybe... Oh, I know why. Because this is the west and this is the east. So... If I'm, you see, I'm. I said no. Th this is the east. Ah, oh, my gosh. I'm tired. I'm sorry. This is the east. So east is east is y plus one. I'm wondering
Okay, I know what's wrong. I should be adding the location, the starting location to the return value here. And that was my bad. So we have a south style going south and a south style going oh and then we have a problem. Uh why are why are they not behaving correctly? They should be corridor as well. Uh, we're going to hit play one more time. Okay, so I have a feeling no it's not it's not no it's not working properly. Uh, this is going to at least this is going to wrap up that video in the next one we're going to fix what's what's wrong in here oh oh that was the that was a problem I believe okay so we just have a rotation situation oh no we we don't. We have other issues. These two are should be inverted. So, okay, so I'm going to check out what what what's wrong actually. <laughs>